Hey guys, today we're gonna learn the science behind microwaves. Now, a few days ago, I found this microwave just sitting there on the side of the road. And like any completely normal person would, I picked it up and took it home so I could take it apart. But before we take this thing apart and see how microwaves really work, let's do stuff that people say never to do in a microwave. Starting with throwing a fork in there. Now that we've had some fun, let's take this thing apart and really see how it works. Now, very basically, power comes in from the wall where it goes into a transformer that converts it from about 120 volts to over 2,000 volts. Now, I've already made a video on how these things work if you want to go check it out. That electricity then goes into the magnetron, which converts that high voltage electricity into magical microwaves that heat up our food. But previously when I've taken apart microwaves, and yes, there have been several, I've never really stopped and thought about how these incredible things work. The most important bit of the magnetron is the vacuum tube. You can actually see it in there behind all those little heat sinks. And sitting in the center of that tube, there is a cathode. And that cathode is in the middle of copper. And that copper acts as the anode. Now, of course, that high voltage current wants to jump from the anode to the cathode. And that cathode is typically made up of barium, which is really good at emitting electrons when it is hot and has a voltage running through it. So you would think that the electrons would just go straight from the cathode to the anode. But there are these two big, huge magnets that are on the outside of the tube, and they're going perpendicular to the cathode. So the cathode is projecting these electrons outwards but the magnets are projecting them forwards. And these forces combine and cause the electrons to spiral up the tube. And the strength of the magnet is just right, so that the electrons brush right by the edge of these little holes in the anode called resonance cavities. Now, these cavities act sort of like a whistle. When you blow on one, that air vibrates part of the whistle back and forth. And as that happens, that air is disturbed and a wave is created, a sound wave. Now something very similar is going on in the magnetron, but as those electrons pass those little cavities, they actually produce electromagnetic waves that are, well, microwaves. Now these beautiful electromagnetic waves are then sent into the main body of the microwave and they're guided by these strips of metal called waveguides. And that is what heats up your cup of tea. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. Thanks. Oh, that's really hot. Ow. Oh, now my jacket's stuck. Well, uh, okay.